Hadoop is an excellent tool for processing data. It is fast and efficient and can process large datasets quickly. In the current microservice and cloud storage world, however, Hadoop is slowly losing traction. Companies are now turning to Kubernetes as it is more flexible and scalable. Here is a quick comparison of the two starting with Hadoop. Hadoop is an open source framework for storing and analyzing large amounts of data. It supports all types of data, including structured, semi-structured, and unstructured. It provides distributed storage of data via Hadoop Distributed File System or HDFS. Data processing is done in a distributed manner via MapReduce. Now let's look at its challenges. Hadoop is good for processing large-sized datasets but inefficient with smaller datasets. Its performance is a bit dicey when it comes to interactive and real-time analytics. Operating with a Hadoop framework requires users to learn a new set of skills. MapReduce, Hive, Pig, Spark, and other Hadoop components have a steep learning curve. This is where Kubernetes comes in. Hadoop has dominated the data processing landscape for many years now but with the rise of containers, Kubernetes seems like a more practical choice for companies. Google Trends shows a decline in Hadoop interest since 2017. A large number of businesses now prefer Kubernetes for hosting big data applications. Kubernetes has been touted as being able to replace Hadoop for data processing because of its simplified setup process and its ability to scale dynamically without manual intervention. Cloud services have quickly replaced older approaches. With Hadoop, organizations typically host their entire data inside an in-house data center. But the evolution of microservices and container technology has changed this trend. Now organizations are hosting the entire data in the cloud and in multiple cloud platforms. This is something Kubernetes is ideally suited for. Multiple big data stack components can be hosted and operated together with Kubernetes. Applications hosted on containers can be easily started and shut down whenever needed. These trends make Kubernetes a clearer choice for companies. Several major flagship bearers of Hadoop technology are moving to Kubernetes. Cloudera released Cloudera Data Platform which runs on Kubernetes instead of Yarn. Google also replaced Yarn with Kubernetes for scheduling Apache Spark. It is fair to say that Kubernetes has become the preferred choice of platform for big data requirements. In case you wish to make a fresh investment in the big data ecosystem, Kubernetes is an ideal choice.